Hello, this is ICR Tiger from thetradingtigers.com. Today, the 3rd of June, 2014, we're going to be looking at the majors, uh, pound, dollar, taking it from the monthly all the way down to the one hour chart. And of course, we're using the Elliott Wave analysis. Before we start, please go through the disclaimer. Stop and read at your own leisure, as well as the hypothetical performance. Okay, fine. So uh, let's look at some charts. So um, let's take it from the monthly. So here we have the uh, monthly time frame. As I said to you, we started our wave count um, for the pound dollar on the 31st of October 2007, the high, and uh, the larger wave degree being the degree cycle, uh, cycle degree, sorry, and uh, taking its low, uh, the first wave one to complete in 21st of December 2008, and um, its wave two retraced all the way to the 61.8 level at the high of the 27th of uh, 2009. So um, subsequently then we're in a wave three of a cycle um, degree, its subwave patterns is the primary, which is currently in the wave three position heading down. So wave one completed on the low of uh, May 2, 2010. And wave two recently has, uh, we believe, is completed on the high of May 2014, which reads close to 100% level. And uh, that's the kind of level, really, what we're looking at right now. Um, hoping, hoping that's not going to be invalidated. So um, now we move to the uh, daily time frame. Uh, incidentally, before we actually move back, um, pay attention to the stochastics. As you can see, it's way above the 80 level, poised to actually uh, cross to give a confirmation of the trades heading down. Woods. And um, please note our wave three is uh, we've targeted at uh, uh, two levels at the 100% level at 1.42073 and uh, 61.8 at uh, 2452. That's the um, primary um, wave what we're looking at. So if we take it roughly from where price is right now, we're looking about 2,600 pips to the first target and uh, about 4,500 pips to the second target. So good to be in, in this trade and just keep it going all the way through. But of course, let's now move down to the daily chart. Um, as I said to you, um, there, there we have the primary wave two. You can see the divergence here. Um, there's the divergence showing on the awesome oscillator. Um, so we're back in the daily chart now. Uh, stochastics is showing we're in over kind of sold border um, region right now. So uh, what we're looking for, the subwaves, subwaves of this particular, um, of the primary, are the intermediate, which is in one, which is green in brackets, which has, which has not yet been completed. And the minor being in pink, um, and that's also in a wave one, still yet not completed. But this level is a very important level, as you can see. We put our stop level at 70.28, and we put the wave count in validation at 70.36. Um, so uh, that gives you a broader um, outlook. So what we'll do now, we'll move to a smaller chart. As you can see, we took uh, three trades previously at uh, 68.00. Uh, zero, zero and our stop loss is i mentioned to you at 7028 um and what we're doing we're riding on um this wave three which is the minute wave the minute wave incidentally is the sub wave of the pink which is the minor wave one and we're trying to complete the wave one of the minor wave so the sub waves of the minor wave are the minute which is blue in bright in circles and roman numerals and its sub waves is the minute which is a uh, black roman numerals and in brackets and currently now we poise the the move at uh, at uh, a wave four um, 
having passed its 38.2% level. So if one was going to take an entry now, we could take an entry at 67.53 with a stop at 68.17. Um, targeting the various levels um, here at, uh, let me make that a little bit bigger for you. Targeting um, 1.661 and you could put another target in here at um, 1.6586 and of course the ultimate target is um, 1.6492 and what's that completing that's a wave 4 of the of the minute um, to complete its wave 5 which therefore will complete the wave 3 of the larger wave which is the minute um, degree so that's really what we're looking at in terms of an hourly chart um, let me go back to the 4 hour so you can see exactly on the four hour how it looks on the four hour. So you can see the uh, wave patterns of the minute, minute, uh, and it is the minute has been in blue in brackets, wave one completed here. Um, wave 1 completes in the low of May 15th, um, wave 2, and we're in its wave 3 down, and you can see it's sub waves 1, 2, 3, 4. We believe this is a 4, we're coming down for its wave 5. Um, let's move back to the 1 hour, so you can actually see that structure exactly how it's looking. And you can see our previous entry, which we had taken to ride that wave 3 down off the minute degree and so what we're just doing now is just capturing a little bit of better move um, accordingly and what we will actually do later on once this wave is completed this wave 3 will be uh, the minute degree will be going up for a wave 4 right which we'll try to capture um, on the um, retracement and then bring it down for its wave 5 so that will then complete the um, minor degree which would be pink wave one okay fine so um that's me i'm icr tiger from the trading tigers .com. thank you